In order to understand our journey so far, you have to understand where we come from. And that's Little Tancook Island. We used to live in the big city, but that just wasn't us. We set out to find a place where we could take my deep sea fishing business to the next level. Preferably a place closer to the ocean than Porcupine Plains, Saskatchewan. And as soon as we saw Little Tancook, we fell in love. So much quieter than the big city. So there wasn't much marketing in Little Saskatchewan for Danny's fishing business, right, dear? Yeah. Right. So we moved to Little Tancook Island. And see right there, that house right there? The one with the light maroon door? That's our favorite house. That was our first house here on the island. And once we had little Danny, we moved next door to the bigger house. Oh, it's so roomy. So cozy. We brought our little son Danny up here in this quiet little Tancook Island. No technology, no video games. It's just so quiet and peaceful. <laughs> Oh, there he is. So sweet. We get a lot of inspiration for our show by taking walks around the island. Or taking walks around our house. My favorite was the episode about the haunted outhouse. Oh, so in my free time here, I, uh, I carved this whale, you know. Okay, I'm ready to go play with the ghosts. Danny, don't film there. You're going to make us think we don't have plummet. Uh, oh, well, you know, see, here I'm part of the little pan cook first responders. Uh, you know, we generally only have like one, you know, one and a half fires a year, that sort of thing. Although actually, if anything big happens, we do just call for the helicopter. I'm the one that gets to dial the phone, though. <laughs> I love the ones where we get to use the helicopter. So does Danny. Honestly, I think that sometimes he gets himself into troubles, just so it will come. Yeah, it's Donnie again. Yep, uh, Danny got in the well again. Yeah, third time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you'll need to send the helicopter. What a little scam. Our lead character, Detective Al, has a side business selling seaweed he gathers using his trusty ocean vessel. I wanted him to get it using the tugboat, but Debbie wouldn't let me write that in. She decided to use our own boat instead. That there is little... That's Donnie's fishing boat there. No, not that one. Not that one. No. No. That one. Yeah. Oh, we, we call it a little Debbie. <laughs> all work and no play on Little Tancook. Sometimes we go to the library. Donnie and Danny love it when we do that. She reads the stories. Back in the day, this is what, this was a one-room schoolhouse, as you can see in this picture here from 1917. It had all the grades here. <laughs> yeah, they sure did, but uh, now it's the, uh, the library. These here I crocheted myself. I did them for the church yard sale. As you can see, it's very intricate work. This took me two days to do this. And I chose all the pretty colors. So you got orange, you got light maroon, my favorite color, our favorite color. And you got white and black, and I also made this too. Oh, you know, it's a very safe place to live. You know, this is all you need to keep people out. This, this, and then this, and then, oh, that's still there. Yep. And then that. Oh, this one. One of our favorite things to do is spend time with the other members of our community. It's too bad that we you came to visit us. There was a cold going around the island. And so there wasn't as many people in the church for you to meet. I once was lost, but now I was blind. We've been happy as clams ever since. One thing's for sure. Detective Al and his crazy antics are sure to excite everyone at our tiny island home. Look, Look out, out, little Tancook Island. Island. Weird, Weird Al's coming, coming for you. you.